Good morning YouTubers. Today I'm at the West Bowling side of Bradford. Now look right behind me. It's a very misty morning, cold and very atmospheric. Now I've brought you to this place today because I want to talk about the Newlands chimney disaster and the incident actually happened around here in December the 28th of 1882 in fact today is the anniversary about 139 years ago so I'm gonna walk around and give you a bit of a, a backstory about the incident just going to find Imthiaz I think he's just pulled up and I believe he's got the plans or some old plans where we think might help us to find the, the chimney where it was situated oh there he is there good morning Imthiaz are you okay? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, I've been walking around trying to get my bearings and things have just changed over these 139 years. Yeah, and I've, uh, you've got a map there. Can I just have a look at this location? Yeah, it's, um, well, basically, can I, can we swing around this way? Sure, sure. To this side. Now, we can see here, on this boat, on this, uh, on this uh, roadside, it's Upper Castle Street. Yeah. And, and the corner, we're on the corner, so we can clearly see here that the Upper Castle Street is here and here's the corner of Upper Castle Street right okay. now if you turn slightly to your left the road running across here is is Ripley Street which is here so if you, if, if you look on the on this on this diagram here Ripley Street so in effect we're at this angle at the moment so Ripley Street is here Upper Castle Street is here this is where we are on the street corner right. okay now right. sure sure if we look across and down the road, okay, um, we suspect the end of this wall is probably where the second curb starts. Right. Okay. And there's this building here, which is probably the uh, the length of that. Um, so you walk, that, uh, so you walk it, further yeah, down. Sorry, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's, okay. it's a yellow and uh, metalised building. Yeah. So. Uh, so let's uh, let's carry on walking here. So sure. so basically, so the end of this building here, I suspect, is is the ending of this building here. This, this, this yellow building. Yeah, this yellow building. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, and the second um, building here, which seems to be five uh, uh, five stories high, is possibly the start of that building. That see blue, the, that blue one. Yeah, the blue one. Yeah. What I find interesting in the eyes is, can you see these pathways going in? Mm. 
There, there's, a, there's a pathway there. That's right, yeah. Pathway there, and there'll be a few more I can see from here. That's right, yeah. When we get closer. So obviously there must have been a massive complex in yeah, there. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And, and clearly these these must be something to do with entrances to the yeah. mill. Yeah. Um, okay, so... I was saying earlier on, because this story goes back so long ago, it's very vague and you've done really well to find that, you know, bit of a location plan. Yeah, well, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's a completely different place, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, to, yeah. Compared to 1882. Yeah. I'm hoping to get some access into that complex very soon and we'll, we'll add that clip on if we can do. It won't guarantee where the, the mill is, but we'll get an idea what it's like inside. Okay, so basically, over here roughly, um, the building there, the five-storey building, okay, that seems to have been here. Right. Okay? Yeah. Um, so now, if we follow a line across, across here, right. you can see the mill uh, chimney. Okay? Mm, so it's, it's, so it's just past that, just That's past right, halfway, yeah. do you think? Yeah, so, so. So, sort of here. So we are roughly here. Okay? Right. I suspect. And if we follow this this uh, this red dot, there's a, there's a chimney there. Okay? I've, I've also noticed the entrances. Maybe there could be the entrances there. I that's, don't know. That's I don't right, know. Yeah. That's right, yeah. That's right. It, it, it could be that entrance which you pointed to just now. Yeah. And um, so basically, we just walk a little bit more forward into yeah. this alleyway. Okay, we've got an idea of the... Uh, and now you can see... If you look through the alleyway, from the end of let's go, let's have a look. Of the alleyway, it shows the other side of the road. Now, if we intersect it, that in half, is that Ripley Street across there? No, that's Springmill Street. Oh, Springmill Street, right? Okay. So, if we intersect the distance between between here and there in half, yeah. we've roughly got where the chimney is. Okay. Interesting. Which is probably, yeah. So it's halfway in between here and there. You're right. And, okay. And. Um, and I'd say, I mean, I'll walk down for roughly. Right. I, I suspect, looking at this, for this diagram, that it's probably. I mean, these entrances here, if we can see. Yeah. I suspect it's this road here. Yeah, that's uh, quite a wide uh, yeah, that's entrance. Right, yeah. that's right, which is here, isn't it? So this here, we suspect, is here where I'm stood. Okay, so roughly where I'm stood here. Let's have a look at this. Uh, I hope that um, red marker can be seen on the video. So that entrance there, you think it's... I suspect it's here. Yeah. I suspect it's here. Right. Which, which gives a good... Good a indication, indication where it... Yeah. That if we go halfway between here... Yeah. And Springwood Street, which you saw right. in the... Um, in the alleyway uh, a clip just now, okay? The mill is across... The, uh, sorry, the mill... Uh, a chimney would have been across this right, way. Right, okay, right. I'll just quickly show this uh, entrance. So there's the part of the entrance, we think. Well, this definitely is a, a pathway to the it mill. Is, isn't it? It is. And it's quite wide compared to the other ones. It is, isn't it? So it probably is the main entrance, like you say. Mm. That's yeah. right, yeah. There's the other bit. Yeah, and it's just a shame that, I mean, there's absolutely nothing that exists. Nothing totally changed. I mean, that's why we were struggling to find the location. But I think you're doing really well. We're quite close, should I say, you know? That's right. Right, we'll just get our bearings. Uh, Impiaz has got his compass out. Yeah, that's right. So so this is an approximation of the direction of the chimney fall, which is southeast, roughly. Oh, right, okay. You can see roughly there, southeast. It's not going to be entirely accurate, but it gives you a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Okay, which is, again shows it here. Oh yes, because we're standing here, we're standing aren't we? Here, yes. Yeah, so it's falling across here. Ah, I see. So it's falling in this direction. Right. Right, I am on the former land of the uh, of the mill complex, the Ripley Mill complex. Um, now, if you look straight ahead, in the centre of the screen, you'll notice a blue trailer. Now, where that blue trailer is to the left of it was where the uh, where we believe the chimney was according to the schematics and the illustrations we've seen and it fell southeast to that so um really that's the only 
idea that we have of where uh, this uh, this mill chimney was and there's there's really nothing else on site not a stone not a brick nothing uh, so hopefully that will give you an idea of uh, of the mill complex where it was and where the uh, where the chimney was thankfully there's there's roads uh, pavements there are a few markers that we can go by other than that it's totally changed obviously you know yeah, it's just surprising there's just not even a stone yeah. left to say that it exists and, and the strange thing is is that the um, is the uh, the memorial is some distance from here right is it yeah it's, is that up spring mill street no that's from st stephen's road since you okay then what we'll do next we'll we'll drive up there it's a few minutes drive and we'll have a look um look at the names and uh Obviously, the step after that is uh, try to find the graves of the deceased, or some of them, anyway. So, we've just arrived at the memorial. It's not easy to read. Have you got a, a torch here? Oh, yeah. Let's have a look, see if it's easy to read. It's shocking the ages, isn't it? Yeah. Here. Susan Woodland, uh, Woodhead, eight so, years old. So the way they've done it, it's not yeah. alphabetical order. It's from year eight to fifty years yeah, old. Right, yeah. So the shocking thing about this is they're all youngsters. Yeah. There's, so there's, there's a, uh, I think there's fifty-four who died, and fifty-two of them are under the age of, of thirty-three. Yeah. And that's, I mean, look at the, I mean, look at the dates, 8, 11, 12, yeah. 14 here, 14, 15, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, yeah. there, look, 19, 21, 23, so you can see the vast majority yeah. of them were young workers, which shows that. Yeah, that, that, that kind of them. hits hard, doesn't it? It does, it does. Yeah, as we all know in, in the Victorian times, uh, there was zero health and safety. Mm, and right. all the youngsters were working, all the young people, very young. Oh, I know, that's, that's right. And you can see, the, it's really sad, isn't it? It says, this yeah. memorial is, is respectfully dedicated to all those who suffered and died in the Newlands mill disaster of Thursday the 28th of December, 1882. Yeah. So, MDR, this plaque was like uh, erected on uh, year 20, 2002, I think, yeah. yeah after 120 years of the anniversary of the disaster yes so it's a bit it's a bit disgusting really after all that time there i know it's a very long actually way, yeah. long way and i can't figure out because you were saying the actual disaster happened uh, oh, it's, it's uh, right across there yeah it's quite far from here it's down the hill yeah uh on the right hand side on on, on spring mill street right uh which sort of intersects ripley right so uh, that that's uh, another thing that baffles me why have they put this memorial so far away from the site itself mm. and this piece of rock piece of masonry is it part of the uh chimney we don't yeah. know yeah i know we don't at all i mean yeah. it does it does look like a old carved piece of stone but where it's from yeah obviously we don't know yeah. and you uh, can see the depiction on here as well yeah it yeah. shows a leaning chimney yeah um so it's obviously the depicting the uh, uh, the mill. Yeah, yeah. I see it toppling over. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's have a one day run. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah. Numbers on the paving stones. Go from. Go. Only some of them are numbered. So 11, 12, 13, 14 on the right hand side. Yeah. 15. So they staggered. Yeah. So, so what we found here next to the memorial across there some of these paving stones uh, I've got numbers on a uh, bit random mm. and we can only see up to number 50 that's right yeah but there's 54 people that passed away on the day so if anybody knows anything yeah. about these uh, stones do they is it to do with the actual disaster I don't know Kind of strange how they just it's laid out. It? it can't be hopscotch. <laughs> you know, the numbers. <laughs> no. It's, uh, you know, the numbers are up there, but it, yeah. it doesn't go up to 54.
Yeah. Yeah, I must have something to get uh, to I saw it on the site as well. Yeah. And when I came, I thought, what's this? Yeah, and there's the uh, memorial. It's something I feel that they don't want to remember, you know? It's very sad really to see that it's only a... a bit of an afterthought. Afterthought, a weathered plaque. It's very small as well. I mean, I'll show you the sort of, I don't know where. I mean, I've stood against it, you can see. It's, yeah, yeah. I mean, even if I stand on the platform, you can see. Yeah, it, yeah. Up to there, less than a, you know, I think it's up to elbow yeah. and It's not even that, it's very small. Yeah. So I think our next step is to see, uh, obviously if you want to know where everybody's buried, I think the next step is to find out where some of, some of these people are buried. Mm. And the funny thing is, uh, um, the uh, Bowling Cemetery was opened in 1889, and this disaster happened in 82. So obviously they won't be buried in the Bowling Cemetery. I yeah. think the chances that there might be some in the Undercliff. Yeah, I believe so as well. Yeah. I believe so. So what we'll do, we'll take a visit there and uh, we'll have a chat with the Charity Commission there at Undercliff because they might have an idea yeah. if some of these uh, casualties are buried there. Buried there yeah. Because if you're talking 26 acres of a uh, cemetery, you know, it's, We'll be there for a couple of weeks finding. Yeah, it's like a needle in a haystack, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. So, okay, next step yep. see you at the cemetery. Right, we've just uh, arrived at the Undercliff Cemetery. Uh, it's about five miles away from the memorial. It's about five miles. Yeah, I think that's probably about. Three. Yeah, it's about a good 10 15 minute drive. Yeah, it is, yeah. First thing in the morning. Yep. Foggy morning as well. Yeah. Um, right, so we're going to the to the grave of um, one of those killed on, uh, by the chimney fall uh, at Newlands Mill and we thank um, Undercliff Cemetery volunteers for showing us where this is so we shall take you there now it's very slippy isn't it really slippy, yeah. Yeah, so, over, yeah so nice and slowly <laughs> so this is the actual uh, L section of the Undercliff Cemetery yes, it is. and it's yeah. the consecrated section it's very slippy here. Yeah. Right. I'll just pan all the way across. I mean, look, uh, incredible, isn't it? Where a lot of graves are not touched, touched at all. I know, that's right. And, uh, the do you want to grab the camera? I will do, yeah. Here's the grave of, of Lavina Cooper, who was who was killed in the Newland Newlands Mill chimney fall. Right. I don't know if it's readable, but shall we grab the torch? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. right. I'll just place myself just here because it's yeah. quite treacherous around here. So it says here, also of Lavina Cooper, their granddaughter who was killed by the fall of the Newlands Mill Chimney, December 28th, 1882, aged 18 years. Right, so it does mention the Newlands Mill. Yeah, it does. And uh, it's very sad really, isn't it, yeah. that we actually come to the, the grave of of, of, of one of those who was killed. Yeah. I mean, like I was saying earlier on, we were expecting them to be buried at the Bowling Cemetery, but that opened after the disaster. Yeah. And obviously the Undercliff Cemetery, which is further away, opened uh, well before the disaster. Um, but we have to thank, again, the Undercliff volunteers, because apparently they said to me that this grave was completely covered by trees and yeah. foliage and yeah. other things. So it's, uh, it, yeah. And you can probably tell how bad it was by yeah. looking at the, you know, Around here. There's loads of graves collapsed and mm. disappeared under the uh, greenery, but uh, no, that's great work. So the grave you can see here is, is L163 in the L section, as Riaz mentioned earlier. Uh, and there doesn't seem to be in this area any more 
graves that we know of at the moment relating to those who died or perished in the in the chimney so uh, in the chimney form let's give you a bit of a better shot of this around here Right, so we've just arrived in the S section, consecrated part of the Undercliff Cemetery. And here we have two brothers in the same burial plot that were killed by the um, chimney disaster. That's right. Yeah. Uh, do you want to grab the camera and see if you can actually read the headstone? Yeah, of course I will read yeah. There is a QR code we'll have a look at afterwards. Okay, it says here... Um, George, son of Benjamin Agnes Baldy, of Bowling, aged 16 years, uh, and Joseph Ellis, son of the of the above, aged 12 years. Uh, so that's obviously the son of Benjamin. And then it may, goes on to say, who were killed by the fo fall of a, a mill chimney at, at Bradford on this... Uh, December 28th, 1882. So these are the, uh, uh, this is the resting place of two of the brothers that uh, right. uh, that were killed by the chimney fall. Um, sorry. Yeah, here is a QR code again, if you want further information. It does say Newlands Mill there. And in the as what you just mentioned there is just more of a common story. I mean, members of the same family have perished okay. in the same disaster. And it shows again how look these are children, these. Yeah. 15 and 12 years yeah. old. It's just yeah. really sad, really, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and obviously, there's bound to be other, yeah. other, other, other people who were killed in that, uh, yeah. in that disaster, but yeah. where they are. Yeah, obviously he's uh, trying to help us as well. So, I mean, these are a few graves we have found here with the help of the Undercliff staff. Uh, who knows, there might be dozens more buried here from the disaster. Right, yeah. Riaz, um, we're coming to the, this is the family grave of, of the Wilson. Um of the sorry what's the name of oh, the Molsons 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 okay and uh all right Miles Molson yeah and if you yeah. check out this QR code they'll find out more about them but this family uh was involved with the building of the Newlands Mill chimney um i believe it was in 1862 1863 um so they're, they're not stone masons they are the actual builders, builders yeah. of the uh of the chimney, Newlands yeah. chimney that that's, collapsed that's right yeah so <coughs> there's their grave, some of the uh, some of the people that were involved in it. It's, uh, Unfortunately, it's very hard to read. Uh, yeah, I'll try uh, to see if I can. I'll go around, let's see if I can get yeah. some something on it. Okay, can we check that? We can do, yeah. Uh, there's there's some writing at the base as well. That's right, yeah. Well, let's see if we can get anything on this. I think it's a bit of a difficult one, really. Uh, it says in memory of Miles Molson of Horton on born August 15, 1808, died October 19, uh, 1856. <laughs> but there's later dates here um, of those who died, I believe. Just can't read them. Yeah. And then it mentions at the bottom, which hopefully the viewers can make out. David Moulton, who died January 14th, 1899. Also, Riaz, you know this? 
even her, her face and lips are sort of drawn down as if she's very sad. And this is what adorns the uh, the Moulton's grave. So this is the edge of the uh, P section okay. of the consecrated area, edge of the, and we reckon one of the deceased from the uh, chimney disaster is amongst there, and obviously it's really dangerous. Could you repeat the name again? What was the? Uh... Yeah, it is um, Sarah Jane Burley and Lily Burley, right. and obviously sisters, yeah, yeah. age seventeen and fourteen. Yeah. I mean, it is very dangerous. We reckon, from our estimation, it'll be across there, in amongst all that. I can't get it across there. Mm, lots yeah. Some kind of graves, and I don't want you know. No, no. Stand on them. Um, see, but it's a, it's a needle in a haystack, basically. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> you can see him. The ours is right in amongst it all. Um, As usual. As usual, unmarked graves, and we just, it's impossible, there's no way we can find the other grave of the, the victim of the Newlands disaster, and he nearly went there as well. Hello again. Yeah. What is it like in there, in a few words? It's overgrown, yeah. and it's very dangerous, and right. there's a lot of sunken areas that I just right. thought it's not worth yeah. even stepping on that, it's very dangerous. And, uh, yeah, a word out there, We actually we shouldn't even be doing this, but you know, it's part of a documentary, a little series we're doing, but... We don't recommend anybody doing this, to be honest. Yeah, and um, there's many of the plots over there that don't have headstones. Yeah. Uh, so, and when, I mean, from the documents we have, is that the uh, uh, the Burley sisters, uh, you know, are buried in here. Right. Yeah. Um, I'll just give you a quick idea of what it actually looks like, just from the perimeter. You can see, uh, and this is what you're looking at. Basically, it's just just a massive overgrowth and far too dangerous but we do know that some of the victims of the, the chimney disaster are buried in there so there you go folks um, that's another part of uh, Bradford history going back quite a long time ago that's more or less nearly forgotten and the purpose of our channel is just to bring these stories back to life. Thanks for joining us and until our next vlog, peace out.